Hi guys, Dr. Joy here, and I wanted to talk to you today about how easy it is to apply one of my favorite preventative products, which is fluoride varnish. As you know, there are over 42, maybe more now, varnish products on the market, so it's really important that you have a solid understanding of what's in your product, specifically what is in your varnish. And in addition to that, you need to understand what is it that you want your varnish to be able to do for you. So today I'm going to talk to you about how you should be applying Pulp Dense product which is their Embrace Varnish. Now, I'm going to do this in a very untraditional setting. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I have worked in some very non-traditional settings, such as school-based programs where I could be in the gym or a classroom. I've also worked in nursing homes where I could be in the bathroom, beauty salon, chair side, in a hallway. But this is something that you should be able to do, whether you're at a Mission of Mercy or another type of community event. Applying fluoride varnish can be really easy. And there are some essential products that you need to be effective. First and foremost, you want to make sure that you have your proper PPE. So as you can see, I have my lab coat on. I have my gloves here in front of me. You want to make sure that you have a mask. Typically after you finished your procedure, your patient should have their eyewear on. You definitely want your gauze. One of the biggest mistakes that people make is that they'll actually start to apply the varnish. They'll dip it back in the varnish without wiping it off. This is why I have the gauze and the gauze is also here. You can use it to dry the teeth off, which you should be doing before you apply varnish or some people use an air water syringe. And then I'm going to show you how I use another little favorite product of mine. It makes life easier so that you don't have to pull the gauze. I'll show you, you'll apply this to the top of your glove. You can actually put the varnish in the little tray here and you can actually put the gauze here so it makes life easier for you. And then of course, you want your trusty product. Let's get started. Okay, so this is our lovely model. She has already had her teeth uh, taken care of. We've removed all of the biofilm. The doctor has done the check, or if you're in a school-based program, you're complete. No doctor check needed. If you're in a nursing home, no doctor check needed, and you are ready to apply the fluoride varnish. So I have all of my PPE on. This is what I was talking about. This is my little micro tray, and I know it's a little blurry, but I've placed the fluoride here inside of the little dish and my gauze is here. And actually you can see where your micro brush can be held. Okay, so this is prep work that I've done ahead of time. So if you're in a traditional office setting, while you're waiting for the doctor to come into the um, area, you can go ahead and prep all of this. So the first thing you wanna do is that you wanna make sure that you dry the teeth off. So let me go ahead and get my gauze, my extra piece of gauze here. So again, you can do this with the air water syringe. So we're gonna have her open, open nice and wide. And I'm gonna just dry all of her teeth off, okay? And then what I like to do is that I just like to hold my hand in there because once I'm dry, I'm dry. You can have her smile a little bit, okay? Hopefully your patient doesn't bite down on you. So the good thing about this why do I love this varnish, you may ask? It does have uh, xylitol in it. So it's actually, the xylitol is coated on top of the calcium. It all has, also has phosphate. And we know that calcium and phosphate are the building blocks to the teeth. What this xylitol coating solution does is that it allows this to be uniform so it doesn't separate. And that's the biggest thing. So you can make sure or ensure that you're getting uniform dosage. So I'm just gonna put a little of this on the micro brush, okay? And then I'm just going to slowly, making sure I'm getting into proximally, get the other side, okay, like so. And with this, you don't need to go lingual. Now, before I dip this back into the fluoride, I'm just gonna simply wipe this on my gauze. How convenient is that? And we're gonna apply just a single coating, okay? Wipe this on my brush again. I'm not gonna do everything, but here, I'm gonna make sure you apply a light coating. Now on her bottom teeth, I'm gonna demonstrate the biggest mistake that people make. What I see people do is that they do this and then they just go back and forth, back and forth in a hurry. And that's not how you wanna apply fluoride varnish. So again, you see I'm wiping this on my gauze. You just wanna do nice, single, coating. And I always make sure that I get this brush into proximally. Again, you don't want to forget your occlusal surfaces. So this has good uh, migrability. Migrability, I hope I'm saying that the right way. So it migrates in between the spaces. You do not have to apply this to the lingual surfaces. And then as always, depending on the varnish product that you use, you want to make sure that you're giving your patients the best instructions. So you can go ahead and close for me. Close, close, close. Smile. And guess what? 
It doesn't even look like she has anything on her teeth so she can go back to work, school, and she doesn't have to say, oh my gosh, I don't want this sticky stuff on my teeth, or it even doesn't look like she has it on. So Embrace by Pulptant, no uh, harmful additives, no bis-GMA, no bisphenol A. You know, parents are getting really smart about what they do not want in their kids' mouths, and she's going to have a beautiful smile. So embrace the product, embrace the knowledge, embrace by Pulptant. Thank you.